Hi, Sus. Great to see you. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, good to see you. It must be late over there, though. What would it be about? Two o'clock in the morning? Can you hear the bells ringing? I think we've got a wedding happening in the church next door. Hello, Charlotte. Hi, Colleen. Yeah, we've got a wedding, the bells are ringing. So, just give everybody a few minutes to catch up and join in. So. Still waiting on my eye appointment, still not heard from that, which is a bit of a pain. But... Hell, kill. You alright? Hi, Linda. Bride's car's arrived yet, but if the bride had arrived, they'd just stop ringing the bells. Can you hear the bells? Today I thought I'd show you what I've been making and work through one, making it with you. It is warm today. Yeah, I've opened the window because it's so warm, but now the bells are ringing, you can always get here. Um, so I make a bracelet, fabric brace, bracelet cuff, which fits around my arm. Uh, and then I made a couple more focus, focus that one and this one I'm waiting for my granddaughter's wrist size to do finish that off because I think it's going to have to come around quite a way <laughs> for a little tiny wrist. But, well these were I got the idea off um, Annie because she was opening a kit that she got from um, Tori at Co uh, called Kooky Creations um, and I'll put a link to Tori's um, video on how she well, first she did it over two videos, but I put the link to the first one in because um, she actually gives a a plan on it. So there, there are links in that in for that. So, and then I've had some more of my 
Happy Mail post from my stitchery collection. So I got this one the other day from Liz with a pretty card. And, it, and it's squishy and padded, so that's, that's really lovely. And then um, this one I've received from Annette. Uh, Annette is one of the last ones um, that I, I got um, to swap with. Um, I've made hers and little cat card. Um, just need to post them. And then this one is from Jan, another lovely card. This is so pretty. Look at that. Love the feather. Um, and again, Jan was one of the last ones that I've I've swapped with. But also, Jan has sent me a pack of beautiful laces and um, ribbons in purples and creams, which will come in handy for more of my stitchery stuff. Um, and I've sewn all some of the blocks together that I've done. Just bear with, bear with and I'll fetch that. So these are the ones I've received and sewn together so far. Um, so I shall be able to get some more of them um, done. So let's see what's the chat. Um, they're beautiful. They are lovely. And they're all four inch squares with um, about a centimetre or half an inch all the way round um, so that you've got room to sew them together. Hello Melissa. You've started your very first slow stitch. Well, that's great, Kel. I've received a postcard today as well. My postcard is of the Northern Lights in Tromso, which I've received today. I've also received a nice little letter from the post office to say that they couldn't deliver because there wasn't enough postage on it. So I've had to pay some extra postage and to get that re-delivered for Monday. <laughs> Bestie of Post Bond. <laughs> oh, and you, you and you and Colleen are my besties over there. Mm. No, I can't really say that because if um, Cheryl pops in, she'll be arguing that she's my bestie over there. <laughs> Hello, Amy. So. What we're going to do is to make one of these cuffs. Now, in, it's got some felt. You need bear with, bear with. Come on. Two pieces of felt, the same size. This one is inch and a half wide by nine and a half long. Um, my band is two inches wide by nine and a half. Um, these two are that I did were one inch um, and one and a quarter. That's one and a quarter and that's one inch. Um, again, this then about nine inch long. And you need two scraps of oh, fabric. Fabric. Um, they can be the same or they can be different. Um, and you need to put your piece of felt in between and fold the edges in and clip or pin in place. So I'm good. 
Painting and recycling ski pieces for a company chair. Need to get back to my quilt paintings. Soon I will. Bless you. Yeah. Well, the polka dots, I thought, why not make it Halloween-y? And you add scraps of fabric onto um, your piece and then just start and slow stitch um, around. Now you can you can pick out all the little pieces and individually stitch all round, like the little leaf or a pumpkin there, um, piece of pie, the leaves, um, and just put some stitches in. Um, I love the I love the skelly bone, um, and you're just basically adding. Um, either running stitches or whatever type of stitching you want to add to it. So I'm going to add all my stitches in black on this one because I thought it'd be a bit gothy and spooky. Uh, glasses are on the top of my head where they are at the moment most of the time. They seem to live on the top of my head until I get this prism sorted out which could be another three months yet before they sort it out because I rang them and got told that it wasn't three to six weeks it was it was three to six months before um, they could see me which is not very helpful. Oh, I've got a knot in my cotton. Come on, separate, separate. So I'm using two strands of embroidery floss. And I've got quite a long needle, mainly because it's got quite a big eye and I can thread it. Oh, they're ringing a lot. I thought they'd have should have been in church by now. Everybody else seems to be. Unless they've come out already and they're having photos taken. So, keep an eye on the chat as well while I'm at it. It's a, it is adorable skeleton. Thank you, Amy, for subscribing to us all so I've got me one piece of felt and which has got me background fabric and me extra pieces on the front you can add as many pieces on the front as you like I mean this one I added just the three pieces again um, this one had quite a few piece, different pieces of fabric added on um, and stitched down in different stitches. Will that focus? Come on, focus, focus. I don't think it's going to focus enough for you to see the stitches, but there's little cross stitches there. These. These are fly stitch. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, I mean these are these are quite small. These Harry Potter faces that I've put on, um, which I've just back stitched all around each circle. Um, and I've put a few beads in there on that one. Um, and then all these little tiny stitches here, they're called um, pistol stitch. Uh, it's got a blanket stitch around the end. And then there's some stars I've done at that end with just straight stitch round. Um, I've got these little charms, <coughs> pair of glasses, um, which granddaughter's got glasses, so I've got a pair of glasses on for her. <coughs> so... I'm just going to start at one end and I'm just going to 
I'll just make a couple of stitches and then you can see what I'm doing if me cotton doesn't get tangled up in on these clips too much right you've got to go up on the top of my head sorry I can't see what I'm doing so I'm just going to do some small just doing some small overcast stitches just to hold down the edge of the uh, fabric and if some of it frays it doesn't really matter um, that they, it's fraying if you don't want if you don't like the frayed look then just turn the edges under a bit um, so I'm doing it in the black because I thought it might just look thanks Colleen Yeah, she she did. Um, Tori from Cool Cool Kooky Creatures did hers on in two videos. Um, I've just put the first one on. Um, the second one's where she's adding all the embellishments. Um, but she does sell kits um, for them. Um, but she did um, on the first video um, give you like a template of the size of the pieces that you fabric that you'd need. Um, so I've just I've just gone from from that, um, adapted it slightly to fit different like mine's a two inch because I just like the wider cuff. Um, say daughter's is an inch, granddaughter sorry is an inch, um, daughter's one's an inch and a half. Um, this one is inch and a half. Um, So I'll get to that bit there and then I'm just going to add they're called pistol pistol stitch and they're just a tiny little show you in a second tiny little stitch like that and they go in whichever any direction um, that you want them to go in they, they can go um, any way and you just do lots of little tiny um, stitches in between in filling in the gaps so lots of little pistol stitches I'm going to fill it in with um, so I'm just going just going round the shape of the leaf in little tiny pistol stitches um, add in and say so you can just you just go in whichever direction you feel you want to go um, add in lots of little tiny I mean mine aren't that some of them are tiny some of them aren't um, And as long as you've got two pieces of felt and two pieces, you don't necessarily need two pieces of the background fabric. You can, like with this one, I didn't cover the back of it in fabric, nor that one, um, but I did on on mine. I put a separate, an extra piece of fabric on. Um, you don't need to because the the second piece of felt that you add in at the end um, covers your all your raw stitching that you've done so you can't so you're not getting raw stitching rubbing your skin because the felt's there um, but I, I did like the idea of using a second um, piece of fabric um, but you don't have to so anything going on Oh, it was focused okay. That's good, Colleen. Um, yeah, it was a bit. It, it didn't. I didn't think it had focused very well. But then again, that's just my eyes at the moment. Um, 
I don't think I've got my glasses glasses down, so. And thanks, Colleen, putting the links in. And when I get near the edge again, I'm just putting some little over stitches in um, just to hold the edges down. And then I should just carry on putting those little pistol stitches in. Yeah, I think it was because I got my glasses on, that's why it didn't look as though it was focused. I actually used my sewing machine this morning. Um, it wasn't easy, uh, but I did manage it. I'll put my head again, I can see what I'm doing. I did contemplate in using orange thread, uh, and I thought, no, let's make it black, make it gothy. Hi Deb. So turn that clip off. That's it coming on at the moment. All the little black stitches going in between the leaves. YouTube's playing up. Why? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with YouTube? I haven't noticed it playing up. YouTube is acting up. Why is it acting up, Colleen? Tell me. What am I missing? Hopefully, it's not acting up on mine. Oh, it wasn't sending chats. Oh, right. Okay. Hopefully it is now. I always start off with two with cotton that's the same length, and as I sew, for some reason, I get two ends that are different lengths. So I don't know how quite how that happens, but. Let's finish that bit of cotton off on the back. Can't be faffing about with that. I love the bit of pumpkin pie on there. I think it's cool. Oh, that's good. YouTube. Oh good, that's okay, as long as it's not mine playing up. So, splitting my cotton again to get two more strands. So what, my glasses keep sliding off my head. 
Don't forget to keep hydrated, everybody. Oh, brilliant, Jen. That's great. Jen, Jen's one of our of us, one of them from the Artifarty group that's um, doing the swaps. Uh, I've, I've I've made. I've got thirty swaps. I've made thirty two squares and um, one is a replacement from one that didn't arrive and the other is one from for somebody that I wasn't going to swap with anybody from overseas because of cost of postage um, but um, I had a spare at the time of doing it I had a spare swap so um, she was the first person from America that asked me if I'd swap so I said yeah and I but I didn't I said at the time I didn't want one in return so my piece will be um, 30, 30 squares, which will be um, five by six rows by the time it's finished and completed. And I've got them all. Um, but this, they're beautiful. Some of the, the swaps that we're getting are, the, and some of the ones we've seen, I've seen on um, Discord and on the Facebook group a beautiful beautiful pieces people are doing and she's she's got um, an art swap going as well at the same time uh, but i'm not very i can't draw for the save of my life so uh, i'm not doing that one i'm just doing the sewing one so are you doing both jen or are you just doing the sewing one I didn't think my hands would cooperate for very long either Colleen when I first started doing it because of the arthritis in my in my fingers but saying that they, they've held up all right and I've managed to and at least it's something I've managed to sit and do because with my eyes like they are at the moment I can't sit at my sewing machine however saying that I did sit at my sewing machine um, this, this morning and I've managed to um, so a lot of my house together that I'm making my slow stitch house which is for part of the um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 4 um, which I'm, for, I'm doing um, but I'm, I'm enjoying doing the slow stitching it's keeping me so it's keeping me occupied and keeping me out of mischief. I need things so much to keep me out of mischief. Yeah, my um, I, d I stopped doing um, cross stitch as well. However, saying that I did manage to do a small piece that came on a on a magazine the other day. Um, but yeah, these are not too bad. Got to go for a lung function test on the 17th, I think it is, for me COPD. Um, Show you how far I've got in a minute. Oops. So that's what I've got so far. And it's it's quick and easy to do because it's just little little tiny staggered stitches. So it doesn't take doesn't take long to to just whip it whip it up. Gaming online, that's dangerous. Don't do things like that. Gaming online, Colin. Go on.
your new one comes. When did your new one come? Is it 17th, I think you said, didn't you? You've done both the swaps, have you, Jen? <laughs> You're so welcome. I don't even remember which one I sent you now, but... Yeah, 17th, your new computer comes, yeah. I have no idea what MORG is. So, it's gone over my head. That's gone over my head. I don't know what it is. Obviously some sort of game. case of keep stitching your pieces down at the side on the side just to catch them in I've got another one ready to start once I finish this one um, that's the back of me other one and you need a little piece of elastic that you just put into the back and stitch stitch those pieces down because that's what you use to attach your button and then I've got this one they're, they're addictive I'm telling you once you start one they're addictive I've got that one ready to go and I thought I'd add some little I've got some butterfly sequins and uh, that I might add in between on that one as well so, Everyone will be getting bracelets, I'm telling you. Because it's they're addictive. And like I say, it doesn't matter which way you just keep putting your stitches in, whichever way you want to put them, just to stitch around your pieces. Bees, yeah. Cute bees. Well, I don't know what... We're not sure what they are, whether they're some sort of a, a wasp or some tiny bee or something. We're not sure, but they're, they're going in and out the vents underneath the floorboards from the outside of the house under the floor. Um... And uh, we had quite a few, and Hobby doffed them. Um, but next door's got them as well, so he's been trying to get them sort and get doff them and all. So, and the cotton's all caught up. I can't get it out. Just wiggle it about a bit, just take the tension out where I've just pulled it out. Again, one end longer than the other. Snip it off. I need to get some of that. You can get wax. You can't get it. Your thread, pull your thread through to stop it getting tangled. I need to get some of that, I think. Sorry. I put you a link in for your bracelet. So here's what I've got so far with all my little stab stitches going round.
I've got to watch Blue Dog. I haven't watched it yet. Thanks for the link, Colleen. I'm now in awe because Tory's in me chat. I'm like, oh, Tory's here. I'm going to last two strands before I have my first length of black. I was watching one of Tori's videos the other day as she was opening one of her um, videos and she was just cracked up laughing and we were, we, it was so funny, we were laughing I was laughing along with her as she was opening these this, uh, this block that she'd received I've got to read this chat. <laughs> uh, Tori is very creative. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I found girl Lisa Capon as well. Uh, I found girl Melissa, and I found girl. Colleen on their channels too. Yeah, the Norwegian blue. Yeah, that was that was the one. Yeah, the Norwegian blue that you got. Yeah. I'll show you my blocks again in a minute. Some of me missed them, I think. So let's uh, see. I keep putting it down now. These are what this was what I got today. Or oh, these these ones. This is from Jan. I love it. Look at the feather. How cute is that? Look at that feather. So soft as well. All the beautiful purples. You know me, purple girl. And then I've got this one from Annette. Beautiful things are created by one stitch at a time. And may your bobbin always be full. She's put on the card. Look at that. So beautiful. And the little star in the middle, just for you, says on it. And the tiny little hedgehog. Look at that tiny little hedgehog. So cool. And then putting my blocks together. Look. And Tori's, there's Tor, Tori's owl look that she sent me. Hookie Maktuki. Yeah, they are just my colours. Mind you, you like purple as well, don't you? my trinkets I have got a bag of sewing trinkets that came and I ordered these off um, Timu um, I don't know whether you get Timu in the States but it's got like a little sewing machine look there's a that's the same one singer I think there's a couple of yeah there's that's a different sewing machine look 
little tiny sewing machine. And then there's the yarn of wool. And then little pairs of scissors, look. Tape measures, little tape measures. Little safety pin. Knitting needles and yarn. Hold it there, look. Little knitting needles and yarn. And then a sewing needle. They're so cute. Um, um, and they they were they were quite cheap. I think they were only like a pound for for them. But the only trouble is they do take took about ten days to come because they come. I think they come from China. Um, but you can get them on um, Amazon, but they're a bit dearer on Amazon. Uh, Paul's uh, hi, hi Terry um, do I like the quality of those poles they're, they're, they are quite they're quite a good yeah they are sturdy quite sturdy actually um, but so I don't know whether you can get Yeah, it's the first order I've ever done with them, um, Tori. So um, I ordered um, a foot massager because um, they have been advertised that with ITF Medic and it's really expensive. Um, but they've advertised um, one, it was, they were advertising one on um, Timo and it was a lot cheaper. Um, in fact, it was a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, so um, we all ordered one of them um, because it's supposed to help get the swelling down on your feet and ankles and it's working seems to be my feet aren't as swollen as they were um oh can you get timu in us then colleen that's interesting if you can <laughs> you feel it's safe for you to order now everybody else has ordered. Yeah, they, there's, they, they're really quite... I'm, I, they say it does take quite a while for... The, you know, it takes about 10 days for stuff to come. Um, but I don't mind that if the quality's okay in it and they work. And um, I did look at all the reviews on things before, especially for this foot massager. Uh, massager. Um, I wanted to check it out beforehand, so we did check out the, all the um, reviews and stuff on it. And um, I think the um, the Revitif Medic was like hundred plus pound, uh, and this one we bought was like four ninety nine. So you know, heck of a lot cheaper, but it does seem to work. So if it's working, I don't mind. Um, as long as it's cheap, I don't care. Um, so uh, it does uh, does seem to be okay. Oh, okay. I can send you. Have you have you got um, Timo, Melissa? Um, if you got if you've got Timo, I can I can I'll message you the link to it. And the charms the charms are, are brilliant. Um, I haven't used them for zippers at all I, because they're just like um, there's no hook or anything on them they're just um, they've just got like a little hole for, like you would for you know you put a charm on on a bracelet um, and they class as charms rather than uh, zipper balls um, but I don't see why if you if you've got a hook you can't attach them to zippers and use them as zipper pulls. 
I don't see why not at all. Okay, I'll send you the I'll send you the link, Melissa, um, so that you can and you can have a look for that foot thing. But um, I've used it for I've used it for three days now, and it seems to be the swelling's certainly going down on my feet and ankles. So I'm I'm quite impressed with it. Um, so yeah, so I'm just trying to get this bit done. Been on nearly an hour. Gosh, where does the time go when you're having fun with your mates? But it was the first order we'd ever done with Timo, so I was also again a bit apprehensive as to what it would be like. Um, but um, it seems to be seems to be good. Um, I'm contemplating getting some um, some more of these little charms, but getting some. Uh, ballet, ballerina type, ballet dance type ones for granddaughter, so I can, um, so she can have them for stuff she does. You're stitching along with me, more sloppy swerve. Wonderful. I'm glad you're stitching along. I uh, I do I do that when I'm watching your videos, stitch along at the same time as I'm watching. I do it with all with everybody except Melissa and Colleen when I'm moderating for them, and I obviously have to behave myself then and concentrate on the chat. I do try to behave myself sometimes. It doesn't happen very often, but I do try. <laughs> and so are you, Colleen. You're a wonderful mod to me as well, and to Melissa. And so is Melissa, and so is everybody else. I'm stitching my Christmas ornament. Oh, what Christmas ornament is that? I wonder. New York flat iron building. Yes, it is. The New York flat iron building behind me. Yes, yes, it is. Yep, that is see. I love that building. I love New York. But I keep hoping I'm going to win the lottery so I can go back. And then I can go to visit all my friends over there. Okay, so I've nearly got my first piece stitched down. Okay, so I've got there. Now what I'm going to do is I think on the edge of that one, I'm going to blanket stitch it to add a bit of different texture on it and blanket stitch that down. If I've got enough cotton that is, which I don't. Keep shoving my glasses on top of my head so I can see what I'm doing. Back on the one of mine came and glued after seven years. Glued it back. What we? What did you glue back? I missed that bit. Christmas barn from Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. 
you're a New Yorker. I love the canvas print. Oh, it's canvas print, yeah, yeah. I've got a big one on that wall and it's got New York on it. So it's got um, Brooklyn Bridge, Statue of Liberty, um, yellow taxis, um, all sorts on. Um, it's got the Empire State. Um, doesn't have the twin. Doesn't have the twin towers, so it must have been. It must have been after. It must have been printed afterwards, after the. After the twin towers. Um, I like Halloween, but it's not my favourite holiday. Christmas is my favourite holiday. I love Christmas. Come on. Don't get tangled up now. Back out there. Go on. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. Thank you. Do you all talk to your work the same as me? Mm. Well, grandson's back from come back from Sweden. It's taken him three three days to re catch up on his sleep and recover. I think, but he had a fantastic time. Um, they had a bit of a um, kerfuffle with the. Um, train getting coming home because they had to leave get a different train because theirs was on strike leaving from where they were to get to the airport in Sweden um, but yeah they he seems to have had a good time hello Laurie Laurie's coming as incognito today she's not not me mod today Talk to everything on your desk. <laughs> yeah, I love New I love New York. We're in, we're there in two thousand. Um and then we were there in two thousand and um twelve. Um after the Towers went down, and we went to the and before the memorial was built, and we went to the church where um, all the all the firefighters and the um, recovery people basically slept and lived out in the in the church um, where, while while they were rescuing and people trying to. And working uh, so we saw that and then we went back again 2018 I think it was and we went to the 9-11 museum that's that's awesome that place is awesome so there's me what I've done so far I'm going to go down the sides of yellow in blankets my orange sorry in blanket stitch and then I might do some more outline around my skeleton in the black just to give him some a bit of an outline and then do the same at the bottom as I've done at the top and then you get your second piece of felt now like I say you don't have to put the backing on it I like it with the backing on but you don't have to put the backing on you can just use the felt and you're basically stitching your elastic down and then you blanket stitch the two pieces together and then it gives you your funky bracelet but if you add all your little embellishments on before you sew the backing on so as I say I put backing on my one because um, I do quite like the backing on it get on there 
Um, but granddaughter's one and daughter's one, have, they've just got the felt on the back. Um, so I'm going to go and sit and finish that one on while I'm sat watching a bit of telly. And then I shall work on my buzzy bees, which I've got prepared ready. Um, with again the backing, I'm, and I've, I've wrapped the fabric around the felt on the backing as well. Just gives it that bit more um, comfort. So I should work on that. So just keep a keep a look out for a short on um, on doing that. Laurie's come back as a mod. Oh hey. BT Barnum walked out 21 elephants across the bridge when it opened amongst other animals. Wow, I didn't know that, Terry. Oh, you're stuck on a train. Oh, no. Laurie's stuck on a train. Can you so show switch stitch swaps again to the ones you have already sewn together? Yes, I can. Yep. There we go. So this was from Teresa. Then this was from Heidi. And then that's Tories. Um, this was from... Hang on. I'm sure I wrote it on Karen. That was from Lisa. And this is from Snoppy, Snoopy, Snoppy. That's from Katie. That is from, I did write on that one, but I can't read it. Um, can't remember. I can't read it. Same as that one. I wrote on it. Um, I can't read it. That's from, that's from Deb. Because <laughs> Deb's written it. Type so put it in. That's from Linda. Again, I can't read it. What I've written on the back. Oh, I do know that is Susie Q. That's Susie Q's. Uh, that's from Claire. That's from Kate. And that's from Sarah. So that's uh, then all the ones I've got sewn together so far, and then I've got. Three there and one in here that I haven't sewn on yet. So this one, that's from Claire. And then these ones are the ones that have come today. So that's Annette. Oh, this one came the other day from Liz. And then my lovely one with the feather is from Jen. So they're all the ones I've got so that I've received so far. Thanks, Terry. Um, it's say the bracelets were. Um, Tori's idea, so the link's in the description. Um, <laughs> you've seen you've seen her talking to stuff on her desk. Look <laughs> at the men in white coats. <laughs> um, No, it's fine, Colleen. Thank you for keeping up with the questions and stuff. Um, 
your dog's trying to con her into feeding her again. Well, Melissa, you need to feed her. You know you forget. No, 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 doggo. <laughs> she had breakfast and a piece of banana. Give her a carrot. They like carrots, dogs, apparently. Mac never did, but Manda's fizz does that we look after. She loves a carrot. That's a pleasure, Jen. I'm, I'm, I love them. They, they are so cute. Yeah, raw, raw carrots. Yeah, yeah. You give them raw carrots. They like, they love raw carrots. Amanda's dog goes to the fridge and tries to open the fridge to get the carrots out the fridge, out the trays. You're hoping to do some swaps with people. Well, she's um, Annie's starting a new swap in November, um, so. Tori loves raw carrots. <laughs> Send her some raw carrots. Oh, the wedding must be finished because the bells are started again. Yeah, I think it's supposed to. They're supposed to be good for them, raw carrots. They're supposed to be better than best thing you can give them for that. Matt used to turn his nose up at him. He didn't like him. He used to look at me as if to say, why are you giving me something like this? A bit of carrot. Bless him. I do miss my boy. I miss my boy. Well, I think I'm going to finish at that. I've been on over an hour, so I'm going to go and put my feet back up again, rest me, rest me legs, and I've got my sequins ready to, I've got some butterfly ones to go on me, on me bees, and there's some flowers as well, so I shall have the gold, gold ones, and I've even got some B buttons. Ready for that? Oh, I know. It was such a shock because I never expected him to go like that, really. But yeah, there we go. You know, that's what it is, isn't it? They're only with us for a short while. So let's see. Thank you, I will. Thanks, and thanks for coming, Tori. And thanks, everyone, for coming by. And I hope everyone has a good day. It was, yeah, it was February we lost him, so it's, it's time's getting on, but you still miss him every day. Um, but we have the daughter's dog now, we have to babysit. So, Thanks for that. Thanks for the links, everybody. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Take care, everyone.